Hey everyone, what is going on? It's Voodoo51292 here, and welcome to a uh, slightly delayed edition of the Weekly Ritual. It is Wednesday, June 4th of 2014, and uh, let me explain to you why we're a little late. Looks like I'm maybe a little off-center here from the camera. Um, why we're a little late this week is because some unexpected things happened on Monday and Tuesday of this week that um, prevented me from basically making this video. <coughs> oh, I swallowed the wrong way. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> it's okay. I'm not gonna die. Alright, I'm good. So anyway, Monday. Um, LSU was actually playing... The, the college baseball uh, playoffs have started, and this past weekend teams were playing what they call the regionals, which is more or less the first round of the postseason and LSU was playing in the regional championship game Monday night against uh, the University of Houston and um, I invited my friend Chris to come over to my house and watch the game and uh, and stay over and he texted me a little while later asking me if I actually wanted to go to the game uh, come to find out his uncle had bought regional tickets and uh, and couldn't go that night and so he gave tickets to um, to Chris and I so actually I wound up driving from here all the way uh, to Baton Rouge and um, went to the baseball game with him. Unfortunately we wound up losing 12 to 2. So it was kind of a, you know, kind of a bad game and uh, we almost got killed by a foul ball because we were sitting down the third baseline and uh, this dude ripped the foul ball and it came right at us and, uh, and we ducked and got out of the way because um, it actually hit the bleacher right above where we were sitting like on the backrest so if I hadn't ducked it would have like hit me right in the face so that was kind of fun but um, but anyway yeah we wound up going to the game and then I drove back to his house and uh, his house is about halfway between Baton Rouge and where I live so we wound up driving back to his house and I stayed over at his house Monday night and then uh, I came home yesterday in the evening and come to find out my girlfriend is, is going to uh, Houston um, she's actually I guess on her way right now to Houston for a concert and she's gonna stay in Houston for a couple of days and uh, and so she um, dropped by last night when I got home and she wound up staying over last night so you know she left earlier today so right now is literally the first time since the, the new week has started that I've had an opportunity to sit down and film this video um, so that's why it's a little late but anyway we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff in this video, so it's probably going to be on the longer end. Um, so bear with me, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, info here to share. This thing looks, like, tilted for some reason. I don't know. Um, anyway, so, last week, we started two, uh, two new games, or at least, I guess, continued uh, one game, which was Dark Souls 2, and started a new one, which was Watch Dogs. And, um... I have uploaded all the parts of Watch Dogs I've played, which is 11 parts so far. That's being played on my PC. And um, Dark Souls 2, I'm actually uploading parts 16 and 17 before this video. So we'll be through part 17 of Dark Souls 2 by the time you see this video. And as I mentioned, part 11 is where I am with Watch Dogs. I'm caught up on my uploads. Dark Souls 2, let me get my paper here where I've been writing down my deaths and the titles of each video. Dark Souls 2, I'm actually on, I've actually completed through part 50. Yeah, you heard me right, part 50, and we're doing, again, 20 to 30 minute videos. So, um, yeah, I have played a lot more of Dark Souls 2 um, than I'm even close to uploading. So here's what happened, right? Because I said last week I was going to try to be even with... Dark Souls 2 and, and Watch Dogs, play them both evenly. Well, as far as uploads go, they were pretty much even, right? Because I'm up to part 11 on uh, Watch Dogs, and I'm up to part 17 on Dark Souls 2, and I think I had up to part 6 before this week, so I think literally I, I, I'm going to be uploading um, 11 parts of each before this video. But as far as playing, it certainly hasn't been equal, and let me explain why. I'm loving Dark Souls 2, alright? I, I, I love the game. Just like when I played Dark Souls 1, um, it's addictive, it is fun, and this game, I find, has a lot less BS than Dark Souls 1 did. 
Meaning that, remember in Dark Souls 1, you had areas like Sin's Fortress, which was, it took me forever to get through, and it was annoying just because um, they had environmental hazards of, of swinging axes that you couldn't see depth perception-wise because you were, you were running straight onto them, and I kept dying to the axes. You had, like, these secret passages, the, the invisible platforms in the Crystal Cave, right? Or the fact that Seath, when you fight him the first time, he, you can't hurt him. And he just kills you instantly, and you don't know that. You gotta find some secret route to get to the Crystal Cave and all that. So far in this game, I haven't come across any of that. It's been straightforward. Um, they don't tell you where to go, but it's not any kind of nonsense BS where, where you'll never figure it out unless you look it up, or it's just annoying for the sake of being annoying with swinging axes and stuff. It hasn't been that way. And so for me, playing through this game has been even more enjoyable so far than Dark Souls 1. And uh, I'm loving it. I'm addicted to it. I, I want to keep playing it, playing it, playing it. Initial impressions of Watch Dogs. All right. And again, these are initial impressions. So take them with a grain of salt because I haven't played too, too terribly far into the game yet. I'm still in Act 1 for the story. Um, I know that the game has been getting a lot of different reviews. Um, people have been falling on all sides of the fence with this game. Here's my initial impressions of, of Watch Dogs. The game is okay. It's not a bad game, but so far there's been nothing in this game that's blown me away. It feels like I'm playing a Grand Theft Auto copy. And Grand Theft Auto was never my favorite series of games anyway, just because I felt like I they just never caught me. I just found that type of game to be somewhat boring. Um, this game is basically Grand Theft Auto done Ubisoft style. And when I say that, I mean that just like pretty much every other game Ubisoft has put out that's that's like this, there's areas of the map, there's districts that are locked off by a tower. You have to go to the towers in the districts, um, find some kind of puzzle way to unlock them. Once you do, it opens up the district. When you do that, it opens up all the side missions in that area, which are generic side missions of one variety or another. They're not like in-depth story side missions. Um, like in a Fallout or anything like that. Um, and you can do that, you can do those side missions, or of course you can do the campaign missions. It's an open, sprawling urban map, just like Grand Theft Auto, where you can get different cars, you can steal cars. Sometimes you have to run from the police. You have a wanted level that you can decrease by sleeping in a hideout. It's, it's literally, so far, Grand Theft Auto done Ubisoft style. And, um... It, it's just, it's not a bad game. It's just nothing that's, I, I wake up and I'm not like, man, I really want to play Watch Dogs. I'm, I'm like, no. Um, I'd have to, with with how much I'm loving Dark Souls 2 right now, I'd have to force myself to play Watch Dogs. And I don't want to force myself to do anything. Um, and that's why it's been so uneven. It's because I love Dark Souls 2. To me, Watch Dogs is, eh, it's okay. Um... And when I record, when I play Watch Dogs, since I'm playing it on my PC, I have to record it back to my Mac, and that's where we come in with the problems with the, the live commentary and burning of my battery and stuff like that. And uh, it's just kind of, eh. So, but I'm not, obviously I'm not saying that's my final thoughts on the game, because like I said, I'm not really that far into it. Um, I need to play the whole game first before I can give you what I really think of the game. Um... So, that does not mean that I'm not going to be playing any Watch Dogs until I beat Dark Souls 2. That's not what it means at all. In fact, I plan on playing more Watch Dogs this week. Because um, I figure if I sit down and I just, you know, play it a little bit, that maybe it'll get better as uh, we get deeper into the game and the story picks up and stuff like that. Um, so I'm planning on doing more Watch Dogs this week. And, uh, and uploading it to YouTube. I, I don't know when, you know, specifically, but I plan on doing more of it. Obviously, I'm going to be playing Dark Souls 2 more, but, but where I play right now is irrelevant because I'm so far behind on my uploads that, uh, that anything that will be uploaded this week I've already played because there's absolutely no way with my slow internet upload speed that I, I'm going to be able to get through. I mean, this is all my parts, right? You know, all this. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get through part 50 of, uh, of uploading, you know, this week. So anything that you see Dark Souls 2 that's uploaded this week is all, I've, I've already played it. Um, but like I said, I just marathon this game because I love it so much. And uh, and that's kind of the deal, okay? And why I've played so much more Dark Souls 2 than, than Watch Dogs. But I do plan on playing more Watch Dogs this week. So this week, once again, you'll see 
both games uploading in some capacity. Um, I have plenty of Dark Souls 2 to upload, and like I said, there should be more Watch Dogs to put up this week too, so you should see more of both games. Um, quick note on, uh, on the, the videos, the past few videos you've seen up to this point on Dark Souls 2. You'll notice when you watch them, and I explain what happened uh, in the first part, which I guess is part, what, 13? Something like that. I think it's part 13. Yeah, part 13. Um, parts 13 through 17, when I went to record these parts on the gaming PC, um, I didn't know this, obviously, because, you know, I'm, I'm just getting used to working with this computer, but when I tried, when I was recording these videos, I was also backing up my hard drive to an external drive, and when I was doing that, Elgato didn't like that too much, and because of that, it screwed up the recording. It shifted the actual video that was captured about two and a half minutes, two to two and a half minutes, um, from when I actually hit stop and start, it, it, it archives um, the content that's coming into it, even if you're not actively recording it, the software still archives that. And, uh, and so what it did was it just basically re shifted the video like two to two and a half minutes backwards in time. So it records, you know, the videos come out being about two, two and a half minutes on the front end where I wasn't act actively recording anything. Um, and because it shifted it like that, it screwed all the audio up. So the game audio and the live commentary over it is like two, two and a half minutes desynced from the video. And it's all screwed up. So what I had to, what the solution I came up with was I, I went into Windows Movie Maker and I just muted the video volume. And I went in after and did uh, commentary over the video, post commentary. So it's not live commentary, it's me commentating over it after it's already been done. And I know that that's not my style, believe me, after doing it, I know why it's not my style, I don't enjoy doing it. Um, I'm not good at it and it's kind of boring to do. So if I needed a reason, which I really didn't, but if I needed a reason to reaffirm why I do live commentary, that's why. Um, but it was really the only solution, because I wasn't going to upload the video with the audio all desynced. That would have been awful. I wasn't going to upload just a mute video, because no one would want to sit through that. So really, that was my only option. And I did the best I could with it. Like I said, it's only five parts. The rest of the playthrough does not have those problems. It all has live commentary, because I learned my lesson, I figured out what the issue was, and I haven't had that issue again. Um, and I shouldn't for the rest of the playthrough, but... I guess, an, uh, of course, another issue could pop up, but I'm not planning on it. So, um, so that's why parts 13 through 17 are the way they are. I did the best I could do, um, but after part 17, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's all back to the normal live commentary for the rest of the game. So, like I said, you know, just bear with it for those videos, and then it's over. And uh, and that was really the only solution. It's my fault. I should check to make sure it was okay. But I fixed it the, the only way I really knew how to fix it to where it would, it would be good. Because um, there was no way to like splice out the audio track, at least no way I know of, because I'm not a video editor, um, to splice out the audio track and, uh, you know, move it, sync it. So because of that, that's the only way I knew how to do it. Um... So, that's the hiccup of Dark Souls 2. Um, a note on my gaming computer. The reason that I was backing up my hard drive, remember originally I put a one terabyte mechanical drive in the computer and that was it. That's where I put Windows and everything was on the, was on the mechanical drive. Um, I decided to go ahead and after you know calculating all the graduation money and stuff I had received, I went ahead and decided to upgrade to a solid state drive, all right? So this is the one that I went with. I have the box right here. This is the Samsung 840 Evo um, 250 gigabyte solid state drive. And this solid state drive has insanely good reviews. Like everybody says that this solid state drive, for the money you pay, it's fast as hell. The performance is incredible on it. And um, this is really where you want to be at. 
and uh, and so I picked it up. It was actually on sale. I think this was uh, this one cost me 140. I think they're usually like 180 dollars or something like that. I bought it off Amazon, and uh, I have now upgraded the computer to the solid state drive, and I copied Windows from the mechanical drive to this guy. So I have Windows and like my games, excuse me, on the solid state drive, um, and I'm using the one terabyte drive as a backup for everything else. Basically, I put my documents when I record videos, I put them on the one terabyte drive. And uh, the computer is insanely fast now. Like, the hype and stuff that they give these solid state drives, it's deserved. Because the computer is incredibly fast, it's like a rocket ship. And, um, I mean, the thing boots in like five seconds, it's crazy. Like, if it didn't have to flash the motherboard BIOS on the screen, from the minute I hit the power button in like five seconds, Windows would be up. Um, it's incredible. So, I'm really happy I made the purchase. I'm glad that I got this good of a drive with 250 gigs at the price I got it for. Um, you know, you can't beat it. So, I upgraded to a solid state drive. I definitely don't regret it. It's awesome. And the gaming computer is, is done at this point. I mean, it's done. Um, you know, there's no upgrades I, I have on it right now. Um, the only thing that might be a little sort of, I guess you could call it lower end, but it's not really on the computer is the, is the graphics card because it's a GTX 760 instead of a 770 um, or even a 780, which is insanely expensive. Let me check the time on this video. Okay. Um, but even so, I mean, for my budget, the graphics card's great and it gives me the performance I need. I mean, for Watch Dogs, it runs on high settings. Uh, it's 30 frames per second because it, I ran a fraps test. It seems the game seems to be locked at 30 FPS on uh, PC, which is weird unless you uh, unless you go in and unlock it yourself. Um, but regardless of the fact, it runs it on high settings. Now I won't run it on ultra, but again, for the budget I had, um, I knew I wasn't going to be building a computer that could run 2014 games on ultra. Now every other game I've thrown at it that's slightly older, um, Portal 2, uh, Team Fortress 2, uh, Half-Life 2, all those games, I know they're older games, but they run ultra settings, 1080p, 60 frames a second, like seamlessly. So, um, you know, I can probably run modern games on high settings on 1080p. Um, and anything older than that. Now, The Witcher 2, I can't run on Ultra either. I run that on high. Um, but, you know, so basically the bottom line is graphically demanding games, graphically taxing games, I can probably run them on high settings, okay. Um, and then older games, um, or games that are modern that aren't necessarily, like if I had Dark Souls 2 for, the, for this, I could probably run it on Ultra. You know, games that aren't graphically demanding or taxing, I can I can probably run on ultra at 60 frames with no problems. So, I mean, yeah, if I had a 770 or a 780, or you know, whatever the Radeon equivalent is to that, sure, I could probably run Watch Dogs at ultra settings. But it, to me, right now, you know, I mean, it's not worth it. That money for me wasn't in my budget for for everything else I bought. The money wasn't in the budget for me to get a graphics card other than what I got. So I'm very happy with it and even though you know we had a scare there when we were building it we turned we hit the power button and the thing was dead as a brick um, we found out it was the bad power supply I'm actually sending the po that po bad power supply back tomorrow to get a refund we wound up getting a power supply that had more wattage um, 750 as opposed to 500 uh, a modular power supply and that was on sale it only cost me 30 more dollars than the 500 watt um, so I'm much more happy, much more satisfied with the 750 watt. Um, hold on a second. Let me tell my dog to shut the hell up. Hey! Hey! Hopefully that should be my dad's Father's Day present that I ordered from him, ordered for him off Amazon. Um, anyway, she's just barking like crazy at the mailman. But anyway, yeah, I'm much more happy with the power supply. 
So that worked out and I upgraded it to a solid state and so the computer's great, it's fantastic, the case looks sick, the viewing window's awesome and uh, it's just a great computer. So I'm very happy with it and that's pretty much the bottom line. So, um, one last note before we depart. I actually got a third game um, that I'm going to be putting in my queue to play this summer, all right? And I got it in from Gamefly. I haven't had a game in from Gamefly in a long time. Um, I got Wolfenstein, the new order, for the PlayStation 4. Um, it came in, and so I've heard pretty interesting things about Wolfenstein. I heard it's actually a really long game. I heard it's pretty good. It's not a generic shooter. I don't know much about it. Um, so I have Wolfenstein here whenever I feel like playing it. Uh, most likely, I'm going to try obviously to beat one of the games I'm playing right now before I worry about Wolfenstein. So we've been Dark Souls 2 or Watch Dogs and the way it's going, it's going to be Dark Souls 2 I beat first. Um, and then probably after I beat that, I will begin playing Wolfenstein. But it's not going to be for a while, alright? I'm not going to be uploading Wolfenstein most likely until I'm done uploading, say, Dark Souls 2. And since I'm only, uh, only on part 17, it's going to take me a while. So don't expect Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein anytime soon. Um, but I do have it. So right now, to start off, you know, Murdered Soul Suspect, that was a game that I really wanted to check out. The reviews are, are ass. on the game. Like, people said the game's terrible. Um, so that's probably not what I'm going to be checking out. Uh, unless, you know, I hear from enough people that know the bad reviews are bullshit. It's, it's a really good game from people I trust, um, but right now, the reviews for that game are in the toilet, and, and so I'm not, probably not going to worry about Murdered Soul Suspect, but for the, for the, uh, the early part of, of, you know, of the summer, we, we got some good stuff to play. Actually, I did forget one more thing I want to make note of real quick before we run out of time. Um, E3 is next week, and that kind of snuck up on me because I was busy doing other stuff and not thinking about it. But E3 is next week, Monday. This upcoming Monday is when all the conferences are. Um, the major ones, again, Nintendo is Tuesday, but I've, I don't care anymore about Nintendo. I'm not even going to be covering Nintendo because I don't ever play Nintendo games. And Nintendo's, it, right now, it, it's literally become a niche market, Nintendo has. The mainstream media doesn't, mainstream gamers don't really care about Nintendo anymore. So, um, your, your, your big four, Microsoft, Sony, EA, and Ubisoft, are Monday. And I am trying to get in touch with Brandon right now. We actually have fallen out of contact again. Um, we really haven't had much of a conversation in a long time. I'm trying to get in touch with him right now to see if he wants to bring back, or if he wants to do Voodoo's Brew for E3. We've done it the past two years. Um, it's always been my favorite brew to do is the E3 recap. We always have a lot of fun with it, and uh, you know I really want to do it again. So I'm I'm gonna try to get into in contact with him this week and find out if he wants to do um, Voodoo's Brew for E3 this upcoming week. If uh, if it doesn't work out or whatever, I'll be doing my own coverage. I will be doing um, vlog videos just like this, where I will be. Uh, doing what, what the two of us normally do on uh, on the brew. I'll be sitting here going through each conference for you, step by step, announcement by announcement, telling you about the conference, telling you about my uh, my thoughts and, and opinions on the conference. And um, I'm gonna try to do that real quick. Whether it's Voodoo's Brew or my own coverage, I'm gonna be trying, hopefully the next day on Tuesday, to put that out. Now if it's Voodoo's Brew, it's gonna take a lot more work because that's only like a two, two and a half hour video, and I usually go in there and edit in pictures and, and time marks and all that other kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to bust my ass to do it, but I'm going to try to get it out as soon as I can so that it's current and people can go check it out. Um, more information on that to come, and I will let you guys know. I'll probably try to do the weekly ritual on Sunday this upcoming week. Actually, I'm going to have to. I might even try to do it Saturday, since the conferences are Monday. But I will tell you in full, on whatever day I do the ritual, Saturday or Sunday, 
what the coverage is going to be here on this channel of it, whether or not it's going to be a, a Voodoo's Brew episode with Brandon and I, like it's been the past two years, or if it's going to be just just me. Hopefully, it's a brew, because that would be a lot more fun, and like I said, I've always enjoyed uh, talking E3 with Brandon, and so hopefully we can get that uh, going. I just got to get in touch with him. So, um, that's the deal. And, uh, and yeah, I know last week I said I would be making a Q&A video at the, after last video and I didn't do it. I'm going to be doing it this week. No, I'm not shitting you this time. As soon as I turn off this camera, I'm going to turn it back on and, and, and make a video where you can ask me questions to do another Voodoo's mailbag. All right. Cause I haven't done it in forever. And, uh, and now that it's summertime, I, I, I want to do another one. So look for the Q&A video on that video. Just in the comments, ask me your questions for, for Voodoo's mailbag, and when I get enough, I'll answer them in a video like I've always done. And um, and that's kind of the deal. So a lot of information I know in this video. Important recaps. Watch Dollars Dark Souls 2 continues this week. Um, trying to figure out what the E3 coverage is going to be next week, um, whether it's going to be Voodoo's Brew or my own personal uh you know videos on it but i will be covering it on the channel in some form or another uh q a for voodoo's uh, mailbag episode three the the question video will be posted right after this one so go there and uh and leave your questions if you have any for me to answer and that's pretty much it so i will see you for more watchdogs and dark souls 2 um the questions video and then this weekend i'll be back with another weekly ritual to tell you about what's going on with E3 and uh, and the games that I'll be playing next week. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video is late. Um, hope you're enjoying stuff, and uh, I'll see you again really, really soon. Peace out.